Hey guys, Mr. Bankerberg here. In this video, we're going to look at finding the area of a regular polygon. As we're looking at regular polygons, remember what makes a regular polygon actually be a regular polygon is that all of the sides are congruent and all of the interior angles are also congruent. Now as we're talking about these regular polygons, there are a couple of lengths that we're going to need in order to find their area. One of the lengths is just going to be the side length around the outside of our figure. But then our other length is going to start in the middle of our figure and go perpendicular out to the edge of our shape. Okay, Perpendicular to one of the sides of our shape. That length that I just drew in is called an apothem. And then the way we can look at this figure is we can look at breaking this regular polygon up into a bunch of different triangles. And all of those triangles, since this is a regular polygon, all of those triangles are going to be congruent. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the area of one of those triangles. So remember the area formula for a triangle is one half base times height. And the base and the height have to be perpendicular. Well, in this case, the values that we're dealing with are that side length s and then the length of that apothem. So as we're looking at building the formula for finding the area of a regular polygon, we want to look at finding the area of one of those triangles. So it's area equals 1 half times the base and the height. So in this case, we're looking at the s and the apothem as our base and height because those things are perpendicular to each other. So we're going to take s times the apothem. So that's going to find the area of one of those triangles, but then we have to look at the number of triangles that can be made within our figure. So in this six-sided figure, this hexagon that I drew out earlier, there are six triangles. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this times the number of sides, because that's going to tell us how many triangles we can create within this regular polygon. So we take one half times the side length times the apothem times the number of sides that our shape has. So in this example, we've got a regular hexagon with side lengths of 10 inches, and the apothem length is 8.66 inches. So as we're looking at that formula, we're going to go with the area equals 1 half times the length of a side times the length of the apothem times the number of sides that our shape has. So filling in our information, our side length that we've got is 10. The length of the apothem is the 8.66. And then if we're looking at the number of sides that our shape has, it's a hexagon, so it has six sides. Now, I'm going to do this all on my calculator. I'm going to multiply all of this out on my calculator. And when we do that, we get about 259.8. And then we should throw a label on the end here. We we're measuring in inches, so this is going to be inches squared. In this example, we've got a pentagon with side lengths of 3 centimeters, and the length of the apothem is 2.1 centimeters. So as we're looking at that formula, again, we're going to go 1 half times the side length times the apothem times the number of sides. So we've got a half times our side length, in this case is 3, times 2.1 times the number of sides. Well, we mentioned that this was a pentagon, so the number of sides is 5. And again, I'm going to type all of this stuff into my calculator. And when we do that, we should get about 15.75 centimeters squared. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.